With the final episode of Star Wars The Acolyte releasing soon, I thought it'd be fun to make some minifigures based on this show because LEGO hasn't done it yet. And based on the reviews, we might not even ever get sets based on the show. So I built 10 different minifigures based on the characters from The Acolyte. Let's check them out. All right, so we're going to be looking at these Acolyte characters in chronological order from when we see them in the show. And I believe the first character we see is the Jedi Master Indara. And for her, I just gave her some generic robes and a green lightsaber. She's pretty generic in the show, like she doesn't have any special accessories or like special pieces. But I think this minifigure looks pretty accurate. And she gets murdered in like the first 10 minutes of the show by the second minifigure, which is May. So this one is probably one of my favorite custom minifigures. I think it looks pretty good. I gave her Luminar and Dooley's torso and legs along with a Dementor cape and a Dementor hood. And I also gave her two knives because that's kind of what she fights with in the show. And I think this is probably one of the best minifigures. So after seeing those first two characters in the show, we move on to the main character, and that is Osha. So this is just the generic Osha I made. I don't like this one very much. It was kind of difficult to find the right pieces because she has like a pilot's vest in some scenes, and I didn't really have that. So I just used like a Naboo guard torso along with some like cloth legs. I also used Lee Jordan's hair from Harry Potter. I think that worked probably the best, and this is just kind of one of the worst minifigures, but it works. I also made a second version of Osha because there's another version we see of her in that same scene, and this is spacesuit Osha. This is my favorite version because she comes with a bunch of better accessories and it was a lot more fun to make than the normal one. One of the accessories I gave her was her droid Pip. I believe that's what it's called. I gave it BB-8's head and some blue pieces just to kind of make it look like what we see in the show. Next up, we have Yord Fanatar. This is the Jedi that comes to find her on the spaceship when they think she murdered Master Indara. And I think he looks pretty good. I used the robes from Keller and Beck in the, the Bark Speeder Escape set. And I think it works pretty well. I don't have really any of the white robes that are shown in the show. And I don't think that's like a piece Lego makes, except I mean, you could use Luke Skywalker, but still, I think this works pretty well. I also use this old lightsaber piece for the yellow blade. I don't know where I got this, but it's kind of a lime color and it's not that green. So I think this works pretty well. Next up, we have another Jedi and this is Jedi Master Soul. This one is okay. I don't like the face. I couldn't find a better face for him. So I guess he has like a beard now. I use some of Obi-Wan Kenobi's robes and I think it works pretty well. I also gave him a cape. Another Jedi minifigure is Vernestra Rowe. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the lady, I think, who is on the High Council or something. I don't know. Soul talks to her back at the Jedi Temple or something about something. I don't remember. I used Princess Leia's torso and legs for her. I also used the cape from Robin from the Batman movie. It's the only, like, yellow piece I could find. I also gave her Hera's face. That's, like, the only green face I have. So I'm really glad I had that because this minifigure would have been impossible without that. All right, next up, we have another High Council member, and that is Jedi Master Kiati Mundi. And for some reason, he just isn't here. Maybe it's because he hasn't been born yet or something. I don't know. Maybe the thread is messing with my head. Kind of strange. Continuing our streak of Jedis, we have Jedi Master Kal Naka, and this is my version of him. I know it's Chewbacca. It's the best I could do. So now on to another character from the later episodes. This is Kamir, and he looks pretty good. I used Raider clothes for him from the ATST Raider, and I gave him a cape because he kind of has like this weird cloth thing around him, and I tried to do that here. I used Vin Diesel's face for him, which I don't know how that works, but it does. But my favorite minifigure is the next version of him. And that is Evil Zipper Sith. I don't know what his name is, but he has like a zipper or uh, I, I mean fangs. He has fangs on his helmet. And for him, I used a Chitaru headpiece. And I think that works really well. It kind of does look like the fangs. I think that's the only piece you could really use for him. I also gave him two capes to kind of represent his robes. And I also gave him skin arms because that's what he has in the show. I don't know why. And he also, of course, gets a red lightsaber. So there you have it, guys. Those are my 10 custom Acolyte minifigures. Well, really nine because Kiati Mundi isn't here. I don't know where he went. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below if you think I should do more custom minifigure videos. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.